It's clear that today most people have become germaphobes. Our kitchens and bathrooms are filled with powders, liquids, and sprays, especially formulated to murder these teeny little one-celled animals that we call bacteria. Most of these products do a pretty good job, but it is a constant war. I recently read that these microscopic enemies outnumber us 100 trillion to one. There are 10 times more bacteria cells than human cells in the body. There are over 500 different species of bacteria in our digestive tract alone. Don't panic, there's no need to wave the white flag of surrender. While some of these critters are bad, many are good guys ready to help us. I'm actually here to drum up some support for bacteria. After all, it's the only culture some people will ever have. We don't just refer to them as good bacteria anymore. We now call them probiotics, which is a fancy term meaning in favor of life. Probiotics are live, active cultures of beneficial bacteria that are similar to those found already naturally in the gut. A proper balance of this intestinal flora is essential for healthy digestive process. The balance is a delicate one and can be upset by taking antibiotics because they're not able to distinguish the difference between the harmful and the helpful strains of bacteria. Interestingly, steroids and even birth control pills can compromise this equilibrium. Probiotics also enhance the immune system. They're anti-inflammatory. They combat infections, diarrhea, yeast infections. They help maintain intestinal pH, and they're important for the synthesis of several vitamins. Though the most common sources of probiotics are fermented dairy products like yogurt, kefir, and aged cheese, there are also dairy-free versions made from rice, soy, and coconut milk. Other fermented foods like sauerkraut, pickles, kombucha, miso, and brewer's yeast contain probiotics, and there are convenient supplements available now. Many people are confused by the fairly new, similar term, prebiotics, which are a special form of dietary fiber found naturally in many fruits and vegetables. This fiber cannot be digested by the body directly, but serves as food for the probiotics. The richest source in nature is chicory root, but since that's not a significant part of a normal daily menu, apples, asparagus, tomatoes, onions, garlic, bananas, whole grains and legumes, as well as natural fiber supplements will provide a nourishing feast for our friendly bacteria. Prebiotics have been proven to provide a wide array of benefits. They're instrumental in bowel regularity. They're helpful in dealing with a number of digestive disorders. Prebiotics are heart healthy, contributing to the reduction of harmful cholesterol while they actually increase the good cholesterol. The combination of prebiotics and probiotics have often been referred to as the dynamic duo because they work together synergistically for our general well-being. I recently heard an older gentleman say, now that I can afford anything on the menu, I can't digest anything on the menu. So here's the takeaway principle, happy belly, happy life. Now, if you'd like to receive more health videos like this one, head on over to youtube.com slash sunwiretribe and subscribe. Nobody eats chicory root. I, you know, I, I, why, why do I even mention it? It was just so much higher than anything else. I've never heard of one. <laughs>